Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing my very first update for my Panzap palette for 2021, the Natasha Denona Lila palette. If you missed my intro for this project, I'll go ahead and throw that up in the cards. I'm, I'm probably not going to make a playlist or start linking the playlist until we have a couple of videos in it, so I'll probably just link the most recent video. But unfortunately, because of my move, um, if you didn't know, I did move on New Year's Day, the very first day of this year. I kind of lost about two weeks at the beginning of this project, which is the time I would typically take to really get used to the palette, start doing a couple of looks with it, maybe find some shades I could start using like in my eyebrows and whatnot. Um, so before we just jump into that full update, let me go ahead and show you how the palette looked in the intro. And this is my palette now. So it's just a little bit messier. Other than that, not too much really to look at. Um, the really only progress I've made have been in the... <laughs> you can hear Rex walking. Um, chunky boy, are you going to come lay down just until I finish? Shh. Did that work? Okay. <laughs> so really the only progress that I can kind of sort of... <laughs> I can kind of sort of see and feel are in these three shimmers right here. I don't know if you can really see them, but they've got dips in the middle because I found that my favorite way to apply them, which is how I'm wearing it today, is just with my finger all over the lid. I typically would go in with a glitter glue, but I've noticed that with these shadows, using a glitter glue um, gives it a very harsh line. Um, and what do I mean by that? So it looks kind of like a failed cut crease to an extent. Um, so I'm not a, hu a huge fan of tr using glitter glues with Natasha shimmers. Um, that being said, the shimmer, if you just apply it on your finger on the lid, it will not last like this all day. It looks really pretty for a couple of hours, and then it just kind of fades away. I think that's probably just because I have hooded lids. You can see very hooded. Um, so I think someone who didn't have hooded lids could probably just put it on with their finger and like be okay all day. Um, but the, because I've been using my finger to apply them, there have been little dips in these three shades. And I really do like focus. And I really do like these colors. These are some really pretty colors right here. Um, other than that, I've been doing a couple of like bright pink purple looks, which have been very cute. Make sure you follow me on Instagram because I tend to post either in my stories or as actual posts, um, looks that I really, really enjoy. And one of them was like a nice bright pink purple look that came out really cute. Um, and then I've been doing a couple of just neutral looks like for work. Today I did like a kind of elevated neutral look. I am wearing um, this shimmer in my transition. And then I use this deep purple on out here. And you can see it doesn't actually look kind of the same on the actual eye, but it came out very pretty. And then all over my lid, just with my finger, I'm wearing this gold shade. And it's just a really pretty look along with a little bit of liner. I like this. So... I mentioned that I did lose a little bit of time because of the move. So uh, we did move. Uh, my boyfriend and I got an apartment together on the first. So we spent the first, I don't know, week and a half just constantly bringing in like, because we had no furniture or anything. So we had to buy all the furniture. We had to bring all the furniture upstairs. We had to build all the furniture. So really for like the first two weeks we were here, I was unpacking. I was cleaning. I was trying to get things settled. And I wasn't really... Um, like doing makeup outside of just, you know, enough to like look decent on camera for work. Because every day that I work, I do work from home 100% um, now, but I do have camera video calls every day and I like to wear a little bit of makeup. So that's kind of what I was doing. And in order just to get a nice look like that up, I was using the Natasha Denona Chromium Liquid Shadows for a quick look. And these are so nice and easy. Um, I have a whole video with these shadows. I'll throw it up in the cards. But in order to do a nice look with this, all I had to do was apply this all over the lid, kind of blend it out a little bit, and then I would take one of these uh, matte shades and just deepen up the outer V. And then I had a whole put together look in like five minutes. So that's kind of what my go-to was for the first couple of weeks of this project. And because of that, I didn't make a whole lot of leeway in the matte shades or really in any of the shades because um, I needed something that was quick and looked nice. And I know I'm not panning these, but I like them so much I keep reaching for them. Um, the two shades that I kept reaching for were the neutral shade, which is called Infra Nude, and then um, Ultraviolet, which is the bright purple shade. 
So uh, I still really like them. I still reach for them. So I do like those a lot, but I'm trying to move away from that because I wasn't using actually a lot of the actual powder shadows. I was using more of just the liquid shadows. Speaking of like multitasking and using other shades, I've been using this shade right here just in my eyebrows. My eyebrows are like 80% the black kind of, um, uh, it's technically I use a cream shadow for my eyebrows because I don't know why people, not people, like companies, uh, don't come out with brow products in actual black. They only come out with like really, really dark brown. And I like pitch black. I actually just uh, dyed my hair. I believe the video should be up because um, I have not actually really dark brown hair, but I really, really like the like so black, the blue black kind of look. So I dyed my hair like that deep blue black. It looks really nice. And that's how I always like my brows too. Um, and since I couldn't find like a nice, affordable, deep, brow product like in a pot like this I just this is literally like a um what is it is a cream shadow so it's just the black cream shadow that I use in my eyebrows because it works really nice um so my brows are like 80% this <laughs> cream shadow in black and then I use a powder just to kind of fill in like the sparse area specifically right here in the middle so I've been using this shade right here it's it's not black there's no matte black in this palette but it's the closest that I'm gonna get so I think moving on I'm probably just gonna keep using that shade in my brows let's see is there anything else I don't think so so I think February I really want to jump into just experimenting with some more looks I've done a few that I really like but I realize it's it's taking me a long time to come up with these looks so hopefully I will be able to find some nice go-to looks that don't take me too long to do in February that don't involve you know the liquid shadows because that was kind of like my crush for January so I think that's going to be my goal. And for this project, I also don't really want to, at least until I start hitting pan, I don't want to set goals on what I'm going to try and hit pan in first, just because I don't know, I kind of want to try something different this year. So I'm going to try and just set goals about um, like the process instead of the actual pans until I start hitting pan. And then once it gets to the point where it's like, oh, I can finish this up fairly quickly. And then I want to start making those kind of goals. So my goal for February, I want to try and find some go-to looks that don't take too long um, and look really cute. And I want to post them more to Instagram. So make sure you're following me there if you want to see more of like my makeup of the day kind of posts. So I think that's it. So that's everything for my very first update for my Pan That palette. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are doing a Pan That palette for 2021, let me know how it is going down below and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.